I'm all right. So, how are they too? I'm very good. I'm very good. Um, would you like any water or anything? No, thank you. Okay. So, this would be your appraisal. Let me start off by saying that I understand the demand that has been required of you guys and the rest of the team physically and I'm proud of all the work that you guys have put in considering you have been in the store for what, a year? Mm, yes. Oh, it's been a year, it's been a year. Time Amazing. flies, doesn't it? It does fly. <laughs> um, so for your appraisal, we will go over your performance and work together to fix the areas that might need fixing. Set yourself some new targets that can make you the best in your role. I only want to see the best in you at the end of the day. Thank you. Don't feel nervous. This is not some like serious... I mean, it is serious. <laughs> but obviously, it isn't something that you need to be really stressing about. Because at the end of the day, this is a way of you improving yourself to be the best version of yourself for the company, so, hey! Right, any questions at the beginning? No, I'm all for it. Awesome. So, as it's been a year, I, I haven't, I don't think I've said it to you, I think um, we sent a letter to you, but um, it's about congratulating you on your probation, passing it, a six month probation. Thank you. Well done. I'd say, it, you know what, it's a big achievement because if I'm really honest with you, the amount of people that actually pass their probation is very minimal because the amount of physical work that's actually required of, of you it can be draining. There's many other reasons, but I just want to say congratulations. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do first is we're going to look at your KPIs. So you understand all about your KPIs, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a benchmark that's set for each target so what we do is um it's called the best in class okay so we all try to achieve the best in class because the best in class is actually something that's been set by the institution of logistics okay. so what you find is that what they set for us is something that we really 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 do hope to achieve because if we if we can all hit that target then we look we look the best don't we <laughs> that's true right so looking at your kpis from the beginning i can see that yeah but slowly by slowly i can see there was an increase so Let's start with orders picked, shipped per an hour. So the target set in for months one to six was eight. You hit eight. But the best in class benchmark for that actually was 10.26. I mean, I wouldn't be worried about that. It's your first year. Most people don't hit it in their first year anyway. But for you to be hitting the target, congratulations, that's amazing. Um, Thank you. As I'm looking at month 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I can see there's, there's a slight increase each month. However, I can see that in the last month, there's actually a plateau. Ooh, plateau at 12.4. I was wondering, is, do you feel that anything's occurred that's affected your work negativity, negatively? Sorry. Um, I've got some family problems at home regarding my child. And um, I was even thinking of coming to see you to talk about this because um, I needed a support from the company if you can help me with some vouchers child minding vouchers so i'll be able to look after my my daughter at home because at present i'm short of cash and also me not giving her the best care 
worries me a lot. That's why I'm falling behind like quick. So what do you think that we can do to get this benchmark back? Well, if the company, um, I'm asking the company and begging you, if you can help me with some vouchers for child minding, that will help a lot. Okay, because if we look at your absences, I did flash flag up on my system. Yeah, the the absences are quite high, even by a UK standard. What do you, what do you think we can do to help you? Is um, like I said, it's financial difficulties, and I can't take it to the child mind every time because of this. And sometimes the child mind that tells me she's sick, and uh, and she won't tell me um, prior to me starting work. Impromptu, she would just call me in the morning and say, "Don't bring her because." I'm sick, I'm going to the doctors, and that affects my work. And I have to ring work and say to them, I have to look after my daughter at home. Okay, so what I can do for you um, is I can put you in touch with Julie Hedford. Um, she will be able to give you any advice in regards to so now we do have an on-site um, childminder that does do the looking after the children. Oh, that would be nice. And I can also give you a couple of leaflets that might be able to give you with support and stuff like that. So that should be something that we can do for you, oh, definitely. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Because obviously, if I understand your situation completely, if I, I don't have a child myself, but if I had a child, obviously... They do have to take priority, but also your work does as well too. Yes, yes. So obviously, any situation in the in, that you feel that you might not be able to come to work, let us know straight away. Thank you. Don't give it a second to think. Just get get to us straight away, and then we'll do what we can to help you out. Thank you so much. Because I love my job. I wouldn't want to lose this job. This job is my breadwinner. Just remember that obviously this is, we're all here as a team and at the end of the day what we can do like a shift swap or anything like that just let us know in advance and I'll, I'll figure out what I can do to help you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh I'm a bit relieved now. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. What we can also do is obviously go over the things that you have access to in regards to information and stuff like that so you don't feel a little confused in regards to stuff, but Thank we'll you. do that in a, in a moment. Um, so I've also noticed in my notes that appar uh, apparently you, you're not social with the, the rest of the team. Like There doesn't seem to be a team bonding or team sort of... Um, co-op sort of situation going on in the workplace oh yeah the, from the beginning yes because um it seems um because they don't know me and i don't know them much so they don't include me in like going out or socializing or anything like that but i had a a talk with them i approached them and asked them why they're not including me in their meetings and things like that and uh, they said oh they thought i wouldn't be interested and i said yes i would be interested so that diffused the situation so and I'm, I'm now being included in their social circle which i'm very pleased so is there anything that i can do to help the situation or is the situation completely fixed now and uh, the situation is completely fixed okay, now and we are all happy with each other that's good to hear Let's see. Because I do understand that you recently had a grievance from a member of staff in regards to something. Is it? Has, how has that situation um, progressed since? Oh, 
yes, that was a minor little thing that um, um, this girl asked me to do. But then I was busy and I should have told her that um, I will finish what I'm doing and I will see to what she's asked me to do. But she wanted it as soon as possibly done, mm -hmm. which I couldn't. But she lost her temper and uh, I shouldn't have lost my temper, which is not right. So I later on I apologized to her and uh, this situation is okay now. Oh, we are fine. She understood, but I should have let her know from the beginning that I was doing something else and I will see to what she wanted me to do later on. So what steps do you think you can take in future in regards to dealing with very tense situations? Uh, to be said? more open and uh, let them know, or whoever gives me an assignment, to let them know that this is what and what and what stage I am and if that is urgent I will leave what I'm doing and do what it asks me to do or even just walk away from the situation can we go and speak to your um the nearest team leader that's available on on, on site speak to them because there's nothing worse than having a hot head and yes and batting yes, somebody I else realize that's also that, frustrated yes. as well I realize that which I apologize for it it will not mm. happen again So, I can see that with the, <coughs> you haven't been attending any corporate events or putting your um, name down for any of the recent events that we've been having. Um, I can see that you you have aspirations to be a team leader, is that correct? Yes. See, that was me uh, five years ago. I, was, I, I also started in the same position as you did. Um, one thing I could suggest is to put your name in the company in the sense of them understanding, I mean, them knowing your name, them having an idea that you do care about the company, you're there for the company, you're for the company, you're about the company. So by putting your name and going to these, these events, not only are you learning more about the company, you are also being, what's the word, you're, you're, you're being seen more as they say yes yes that would be a good idea and i'm willing to go all the way so to help the, 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 the company grow so i can see that we have a corporate event coming up in the next week and, and it's actually to do with um health the health and safety standards in the in the environment in the workplace environment should i put your name down for that one yes yes i'll be willing to attend don't worry this is the exact same things that i was doing and i can honestly tell you they are informative Good. and if you're wanting to step on that ladder to get further within this company and you're wanting to be here for a very long time I'm, i can tell you that this is the best way to go thank you All right, so I put your name down for that one. Okay, thank All right. you. So if we go through, the, go over the targets again. <coughs> so I will give you childcare vouchers. Actually, no, sorry, I won't give you childcare vouchers. I will introduce you to Julie, who will give you information in regards to what you're entitled to, the child voucher, sorry, okay. and also about the on-site um, childminder. That's one. Thank you. That will help me a lot. In regards to your absences, we promise that you will call up in advance. Yes. Whenever there is a situation, obviously to avoid the absences because you know when one man is down, or then obviously we're in a situation too where we're short staff. We can't obviously have that, especially in an intense environment as the one we have. Mm -hmm. So let me put that on. I understand. Mm. 
And for your KPIs, what do you feel that you need in regards to support from us in order to increase the standard? Um, more training. Okay. Awareness. What, what type of training do you feel that you need? Um, where I'm falling short from. Um, to know more about the company. Be more open. Or do you mean that in regards to your colleagues? Yes. You know, socially, the reason we don't push for you guys to go out to obviously be social with each other because we understand you all have different lives when you leave this building but this is more of the fact that team building yes anything to do with the company i'm all for it it's to help the company go forward it's not just about the um the company it's in regards to like and the, be the better you guys get along yes great to work working with each other more training so i'll have a look at the next couple of inductions and see if i can put you on them that's okay okay, okay. thank you um, in regards to your colleagues obviously you've said that you can that you've dealt with that yourself yes and if you need anything whatsoever in regards to support for your colleagues and stuff like that, always remember you can also speak to me or any of the managers around. Um, Thank you. The grievance has been discussed. And we're going to put you more and more, more and more and more corporate events. So therefore, we'll get you up to that team leader role in no time. Thank you. I'm prepared to do anything to help. And get you into that role. Yes. So how, how do you feel this went? Good. Very informative. And uh, I feel at ease now because my problem, my biggest problem was the child minding. And so now that is resolved. Thank you so much for being so helpful and understanding. Just remember, my office is always here. Thank you. I am a, I am a team. I am a, I am a line manager at the end of the day, and I'm always here to help. It doesn't matter. You can I can I can even give you the work thing work number. So if you need any help or anything like that, just remember that I'm always always here. Thank you. All I want to see is the best out of all of you guys. Thank you. Because I, I was once in that position myself, so. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you so much today. Thank you. Sorry if I keep looking at the laptop. It's just we got of information to fill out for you. So what I'll do is that I can email this to you as well, and I'll print it out as well. So therefore, you have a copy of all your targets. Okay. You have a copy of the KPIs and everything we've discussed today. Thank you. Is there anything else that you need from me? Um, no, 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 not at the moment. Okay, perfect. I'm quite pleased. Thank, well, thank you, you so much, much Cynthia. for helping me. Have a nice day. For thank you. Me. Yes, thank you.